Hi there, I'm Viv. Welcome to our video about writing conclusions for Eurasia 1030 essay. Conclusions are a really important part of your essay because they wrap up your entire argument. But one word of warning is that if you write an excellent conclusion when you're drafting your essay and you look back over the draft of your essay and you see that you've written a clearer argument in your conclusion and a clearer summary of your argument and the key reasons in your conclusion then is in the introduction. Move that up to the introduction. Make sure that your introduction has a very, very clear statement about what your argument is and what your key reasons are. Because again, like I said in the video about introductions, the introduction is the very first thing that your reader sees. So when you're writing your conclusion, once you've finished it, Compare it to your introduction and see where do you articulate your argument best. Put your best articulation in the introduction and revise your conclusion again to wrap it up and also to keep it consistent. But you'll often find when you're writing your essay that when you get to the end of it, that's when you've thought about the ideas most. That's when you've been able to articulate things most clearly. So when you're writing your draft conclusion, think about whether it would work even better as an introduction and then revise a new or create a new conclusion in its place. So when you're writing a conclusion, you need to think of it as having two main elements. First, summarizing your argument and the key reasons for it. And then thinking about, so what? Why has this essay been interesting? That's a hard question to ask yourself. One thing that you can do to make it easier is to think about what was the debate or the issue or the problem that your essay started off by talking about. Why is what you found or what you've argued interesting in relation to that debate? Why does it contribute to that debate? You need to keep it relevant to your discipline. So let's take a sample, ex uh, sample conclusion, again talking about um, masculinity in South Korea. So first of all, the student begins by summarising the argument. Again, the two parts of that argument that answer the two parts of the question. So how have um, historical ideas of masculinity shaped contemporary forms of masculinity and have there been any new concepts? So they're showing that historical ideas have influenced masculinity, but there are also new forms of masculinity arising in South Korea. They're explaining the key reasons for their argument. So they're going back over what did they actually focus on in the essay. So the emergence of the nation state and industrialization, as well as pop culture and entertainment. So those are the topics that they focused on in the essay. Then they wrap up the essay by thinking more broadly about what the implications are for this particular topic. So while they're focused on masculinity, they're starting to think about, well, why is this interesting in general to do with gender norms? What does this show about gender norms in, in South Korea? So they're highlighting what the broader societal problems are and why that's interesting back to the academic debate. So there are more examples and more explanations on your Wardle site about how to write an effective essay. And in the following video, we're going to be talking about how to edit your work effectively. Thank you.